Now, to put this into another layer of perspective, um, this is just such an amazing metric. This is the R hodl ratio, um, originally developed by Philip Swift. Um, this is one of my favorite on-chain metrics just because of how elegant it is and how reliable this particular indicator has been. Um, very, very simply, high values means that a very large proportion of the supply is held by hot supply. Lots of the wealth invested in Bitcoin is held in recently moved coins. Low values are the exact opposite, where we're looking at all of the supply held. There's a large clustering or most of the supply is held by those longer term holders. Coins that are one to two years. Now, I've tried many different variations of one month and, you know, greater than three years and all sorts of different boundaries. For whatever reason, um, this particular original r hodl ratio just seems to be that really nice balance of the one weeks and the one to two years. Just seems to work really, really nicely. Now, what we've visualized here is we've put a two-year moving median on it, really. And what we're looking for here is inflection points. Now, we can see here that as we came out of the 2016, kind of that bare floor here in 2015, we crossed over the one, the, the sorry, the two-year median. It had essentially corrected down during the bear, and it signified that we were starting to move back into a wealth transfer event. The older money from back here in the previous cycle slowly but surely started transferring their coins to new buyers. Now, bear in mind, this is on log scale. So it starts very slow, even though it looks like a linear curve. It starts slow, but it goes parabolic into the tops. We had the same event as we came right before March 2020. This was this kind of uncertainty period where it was very much hodler dominated. There was no reinforcements, very few capital coming in. In, in many ways, the 2019 era was very similar to 20, uh, 2015. There just was only the hardcore hodlers that remained. And in many ways, we're in a very, very similar pattern. So we only crossed this two-year median right before March 2020. And really, March 2020 was kind of that final event Event that just created that parabolic move to the upside. And where we are at the moment, we are more or less contesting with a very, very similar decompression in between sideways, not really much going on type phase of the market. So you can see there's a couple of these different indicators, both the wealth of coins, where we are in terms of these pricing models that have very, very similar characteristics.